Namaskrityam naram chiva narotamam devim sarasvatim yasam tatvajayam hudirayet nashta prayesh vabadrishu nityam bhagavata sivaya bhagavati utama shloke bhakti bhavati nishtiki So we are reading today the Srimad Bhagavatam, the Kento 8, chapter 23. And uh, just one question before to begin. Is there any need to translate this uh, class in French or should I do in English either? Please just uh, raise your hand if you only speak French. Ah oui. Est-ce que quelqu'un parle uniquement français? Qu'il lève une main? Ou devrais-je faire en anglais? Ok. I will do in English, even though I'm not so comfortable. 
will try to cut my French accent and do it as smooth as possible. But let's see. By Krishna's mercy. So uh, line by line, uh, this is verse 17. Tatapi vadato buman. 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 Karishyami Hanusanam. Karishyami Hanusanam. Karishyami Hanusanam. Etachriya Param Pumsam. Etachriyam Param Pumsam. Etachriyam Param Pumsam. Yatavagnanu Palanam. Yatavagna nupalanam Yatavagna nupalanam Okay, it's your turn. Tatapi vadato buman Karishyami anusananam Shreya <laughs> Tata piva da tobuman Karishami anusanam Itachriya param pumsam Yata vagna no padanam Is there any mother who wants to try? Tata piva da tobuman Karishyami Anushasanam Etachriya Param Pumsam Yatavagnanu Palanam Okay, we'll do word for word. Tatapi Although there was no fault on the part of Bali Maharaj Vadata because of your order, Buman, O Supreme, Karishyami, I must execute Anushasanam because it is your order. Etat, this is Shreya, that which is the most auspicious. That which is the most auspicious. Param, Param Supreme. Supreme. Umsam Umsa. of all persons. persons. Yat, Yat because. because. Tavagna Hanu Palanam. Tavagna To obey your order. Obey your order. Translation based giving grace. Shila Isi Bhaktivyanantas Ramivaj Prabhupad. Lord Vishnu. I must nonetheless act in obedience to your order because being your order is most auspicious and it is the first duty of everyone. So there is no purport. We will read the next verse. Sukadev Kuzvami continued. Shukadev Goswami continued, In this way, the most powerful Shukracharya accepted the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead with full respect. 
Along with the best brahmanas, he began to compensate for the discrepancies in the sacrifice performed by Bali Maharaj. Next verse. O King Parikshit, thus having tackled all the land of Bali Maharaj by begging, the supreme personality of Godhead, Lord Vamadev, delivered to his brother Indra all the land taken away by Indra's enemy. Next verse. Lord Brahma, the master of King Daksha and all other Prajapatis, accompanied by all the demigods, the great saintly persons, the inhabitants of Pitriloka, the Manus, the Munis, and such leaders as Daksha, Brigu, and Angira, as well as Kartika and Lord Shiva, accepted Lord Vamanadev as the protector of everyone. He did this for the pleasure of Kashyapa Muni and his wife Aditi, and for the welfare of all the inhabitants of the universe, including their various leaders. Next verse. O King Parikshit, Indra Ras considered the king of all the universe, but the demigods, aided by Lord Brahma, wanted Upendra, Lord Vamanadev, as the protector of the Vedas, the principles of religions. Fame, opulence, auspiciousness, vows, elevation to the higher planetary system, and liberation. Thus they accepted Upendra, Lord Vamanadev, as the supreme master of everything. This decision made all living entities extremely happy. Next verse. Thereafter, along with all the leaders of the heavenly planets, Indra, the king of heaven placed Lord Bra Vamana Dev before him and, with the approval of Lord Brahma, brought him to the heavenly planet in a celestial airplane. Next verse. Indra, king of heaven, being protected by the arms of Mahana Dev, the supreme personality of Godhead, thus regained his rule of the three worlds and was reinstated in his own position, supremely opulent fearless and fully satisfied. Next verse. Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, Lord Kartikeya, the great sage, Brigu, other saintly person, the inhabitant of Pitri Loka, and all other living entities present, including the inhabitants of Siddha Loka and living entities who travel in outer space by airplane, all glorify the uncommon activities of Lord Vamanadev. O King! While chanting about and glorifying the Lord, they returned to their respective heavenly planets. They also praised the position of Aditi. Homage Parikshit, pleasure of your dynasty. I have now described to you everything about the wonderful activities of the Supreme Personality of God at Vamanadev. Those who hear about this are certainly freed from all the results of sinful activities. Next verse. One who is subject to death cannot measure the glories of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Trivikram, Lord Vishnu, any more than he can count the number of atoms on the entire planet Earth. No one, whether born already or destined to take birth, is able to do this. This has been sung by the great sage Vashista. Purport. Vashista has given a mantra about Lord Vishnu. Nati Vishnu Jayamano Najato Maina Param Anantam Apa. No one can estimate the extent of the uncommonly glorious activities of Lord Vishnu. Unfortunately, there are so-called scientists who are subject to death at every moment, but are trying to understand by speculation the wonderful creation of the cosmos. This is a foolish attempt. Long, long ago, Vesishtamuni said that no one in the past could measure the glories of the Lord, and that no one can do so in the future. One must simply be satisfied with seeing the glorious activities of the Supreme Lord's creation. The Lord therefore says in Bhagavad Gita 10.42, 
Vishta Bayam Hidam Kritsnam Ekam Sinastito Jagat. With a single fragment of myself, I pervade and support this entire universe. The material world consists of innumerable universes, each or one full of innumerable planets, which are all considered to be product of the Supreme Personality of Godhead's material energy. Yet yeah, this is only one-fourth of God's creation. The other three-fourths of creation constitute the spiritual world. Among the innumerable planets in only one universe, the so-called scientists can understand, cannot understand even the Moon and Mars, but they try to defy the creation of the Supreme Lord and His uncommon energy. Such men have been described as crazy. Nanam pramata kuruti vikarma, say Bhagavatam 554. Such crazy men unnecessarily waste time, energy, and money in attempting to defy the position, the glorious activities of Hurukram, the supreme personality of Godhead. Omagyan timiran gasya ganan gala shalakya shakshul mitam yena tasme shigulave nama chichitanya mano bistam stapitam yena butare zvayam rupa kadamayan data tizva padam tikam vandeam shri guru shri yuta padakamaram shri guru vaishnavam cha shri rupam sagrajatam sagana ragunatan vitam tam sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sagana Lalita Shivishakan Vitamcha He Krishna Karuna Sindo Dina Bondo Jagatpate Gopisha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Vindavaneshvari Vishabhanu Sute Devi Panamami Hari Priye Amsha Karpataro Vyasha Kripa Sindhu Vyayevacha Patitanam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sharvaita Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Lama, Hare Lama, Lama Lama, Hare Hare. So, um, this world by uh, Prabhupada are uh, uh, describing the glories of the activities of the Lord. And that's true that it's mentioned that even though Lord Shisha has 1,000 mouths, 1,000 hoods, and on in, only in one of his hoods, the whole universe is there, he still cannot fathom the unlimited glories of the Lord. Therefore, all um, us limited particle of the Supreme can try to exhibit the prowess and to glorify uh, correctly the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We can just try to take a simple uh, fragment of these glories and try to explain it. When, um, when uh, uh, the devotees used to pray for the Lord, they, they posed themselves as unable to pray correctly the Lord, but even though they try, even though they try, and they constantly describe the glories of chanting of the activities of the form everything about Krishna and his multiple incarnation. That's why we can never be cessated of chanting the holy name of the Lord. That's why we can never be cessated of discussing kata together, because there is unlimited perception of the glories of the holy name, of the Lord, of his form and pastime and activities and so on. This is the wonderful uh, possibility of Krishna consciousness. It is no waste of time at all. This is avyata kaladvam. You cannot waste time if you are conscious about Krishna because you have infinite possibilities
to serve the Lord. And no, not only that, you have infinite possibilities to talk about the Lord. So we know that here is mentioned there is Brahma, four head. There is also Shiva, he can have five head. And there is also Kartikeya, he have six head. Even though they have multiple heads, even though they have multiple ears, they cannot still manage to glorify the Lord correctly. And they are still eager to achieve the lotus feet of those who manifest the glories of the Lord on the highest scale. For example, I will take that verse from um, uh, Brahma himself, which says in the 10th canto, in the, 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 um, the religion past that he was uh, submitted to, he says, Yad Bodhi Bhagyam, Yad Janmakim Api Attavyam, Yad Goku Depi Katam Angri Rajo Bishikam, Yad Jivitam Tunikilam Bhagavan Mukundas, Vajya Piyat Padaraja, Iva Shruti Mrigyam Eva. Basically, this verse is saying, um, Yad Bodhi Bhagyam, my most fortunate position will be. To take birth in any kind of species, in any kind of con condition, in any kind of position, time, or whatever, Atavyam, in one of the forests, Yad Gokulepi, of Gokul, ever in earth, ever in the spiritual world. That was the most cherished desire of Brahma, to take birth in any condition where in the forest of Vrindavan. And he says also, Katamangri um, Rajo Bishikam. Katamangri Rajo Bishikam means uh, I, will, I want to take birth in a way that I can take the shower of the dust of the inhabitants of Vrindavan. I can take the shower of the dust of the inhabitants of Vrindavan. It means that, you know, that desire of Lord Brahma was in fact to become either a stone, either a blade of grass, whatever uh, the inhabitant of Rindavan will walk on. He wanted to take the position where he could grab, grab and grasp the, lotus feet, the dust of the lotus feet of the inhabitants of Rindavan. Why? Even though he was in Satyaloka, even though he has the most wealthy opulence in the universe, he still wanted to be in the lowest position. And why is that so? Is that because the inhabitants of Vrindavan was the most able to fathom the innumerable glories of the Lord. Therefore, in order to approach the understanding of those glories, he wanted to be near them. Because the inhabitants of Vrindavan are always chanting the glories of Krishna. Therefore, in that way, you will receive the highest mercy. And that verse continues in that way. Yajivitam um, tunikilam bhagavan mukundas. Those inhabitants of Vrindavan, I want their dust. Why? Because jivitam tunikilam. They are completely dedicated to bhagavan mukundas, to the supreme personality of Godhead called mukunda. And vajyapiyat padaraja. Shruti Amrigyam Eva means, and this uh, Mukunda, this Supreme Personality of Godhead, is the gold searched by the Veda even today. Why is it the gold searched even today? It's because the Vedas personified uh, at the beginning of the creation, they used to wake up the Lord. Each, each time there is a destruction of the universe, the Vedas personified gather together around Shesha, around Lakshmi, and around Garbhodaka, Shri Vishnu, and they start to recite verses about the glories of the activities of the Supreme Lord Ed. And by those glories, it awake the Supreme. And again, it manifests with the help of Brahma, the creation. And this is all the Vedas personified, eternally glorified in each and every universe. The Lord. But there is a thing that Brahma is 
saying there. They are still looking for that dust which I try to pray to. Why? Because the dust of Vrindavan is beyond the range of the Vedas. The Vedas personify can only touch the surface of the glories of Vrindavan. They cannot enter into. It. The Vedas cannot access to Goloka Vrindavan. They are on the door, they are on the outside, they are on the periphery. And the Vedas themselves are older than Brahma. But they, they still cannot access. So Brahma being realistic is saying, better than I take a low position like this, I will get access to this realm, to this spiritual realm of Goloka. And I will be in Gokul. Because even my ancestor, the Vedas personified, they don't have received enough mercy to access to this. Sanatan Goswami, he says that in the, the purport of this verse, there is people who say that some of the Upanishad managed to access to uh, Goloka, but he refute this in order to uh, valid the statement of Brahma. So, um, there is a verse which says that Salvesham sadananam tat sakshat kalo isat falam Tadeva mulato maya nashyat prema pivaldate Salvesham sadananam tat the, the goal of all practices is a karma, is a jnana, is a bhakti is sakshat karo, is satfalam, is to see the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is the real eternal fruit, satfalam. Why should we desire to see the Supreme Personality of Godhead when we are in front of the deities? We should try to see the spiritual form of the deities beyond the marble. And we try, when we try to pronounce the name, we should see beyond the sound, the vibration, the realm of whatever form we aspire to or whatever we are inspired to go, we should try to see that. Why? Because this is the only condition where you can cut Maya the root and awaken Prima. To see the Lord will be the only solution for you to awaken Prima. Before that, there is always a tinge of illusion, of false ego that you cannot by yourself extinguish. Therefore, when everybody, when everybody is trying to uh, perform his sadhana, he should aspire also to see the Lord. But not like Shukracharya here. Shukracharya, he has the Lord Vamanadev in front of him. Therefore, he has the great success, the highest goal of life he has achieved. But because he was not eager to serve Lord Vanadev, he was not seeing him with bhakti. So the darshan was incomplete. Therefore, Shukadev, in fact, was not able to see Vamanadev. He was not able to see, to exchange the spiritual potency. Why? Because his desire was not that. So even though People are seeing Krishna or seeing Vamanadev, they may not receive the real mercy. Because to see the Lord means to see with the eyes ointed with the pulp of love. Shukracharya managed to see the Lord, but he didn't have the desire to serve. Therefore, to serve the Lord and to see the Lord always goes together. I want to see the Lord because, like this, I will become pure. But I want to see him, not for my pleasure, but for his satisfaction. Here, Shukracharya saw the Lord in a materialistic way. Why we can say that? Harshaya meva haraye, pujam yaha shradaye hate, natat bhakti shuchan yeshu, sabakta prakrita smita. It is said that the one who is worshipping the deity without uh, respecting, honoring, the Bhakta is considered a materialistic devotee. In that way, Shukracharya didn't want to uh, respect the Vaishnavas. He didn't want to respect uh, the Vaishnava, even though he's doing a sacrifice, even though in our verse today, 
in the 17, he's saying, I will, I will act in obedience to your order. It is the most auspicious and the first duty of everyone. He says that, but just before, he told to his disciples, don't do this. So, even though Shukracharya has knowledge of the Vedas, have knowledge of the glories of the Lord, he still not have that realization, that devotion, who make him surrender completely, who make him able to satisfy the Lord wherever is the situation. Shukracharya saw the Lord disconnected of his activity. What does that mean? That means he considers the Lord, but he doesn't consider the energy around him. He doesn't consider the fact that he can serve him in multiple ways. Not only the Lord himself, but also the Vaishnavas. Because the Vaishnavas was the enemy of Shukracharya. He didn't want to serve Vamanadev in order to please the Vaishnavas. Because they will steal his position. And what Shukracharya wanted to keep his position as the supreme guru of the three worlds. Therefore, one who wants to chant and attain the supreme goal or to perform sadhana, to attain the supreme goal, he should have one, the desire to see the Lord, the desire to be with him, the two, to, the desire to serve him purely, and three, the desire to serve his energy, including his devotees. This is uh, the, the good way to, to perform sadhana, the good way to uh, see and uh, to... Uh, be able to fathom the glories. I, I come back to that verse of Brahma about the glories of the Lord beyond the Vedas that themselves they cannot fathom. There is, there is the Acharya says there is three main reasons that why Brahma desires the lotus, the dust of the lotus feet of Kokul or Vrindavan. Was Three uh, reasons are first, Vijvana Chakraviti Thakur says, first, Brahma is realistic. He knows that, as I said, Vedas themselves, they cannot. So he wants something achievable, accessible. So he says, better to be a speck of dust, a little particle of dust. Like this, there is many reasons that I will at least achieve this success. I will not go for the aim to become a gopa, a gopi. Now this is too much. For me, uh, it's not possible. Better I go by the little door. In this way, you can understand the mood of the Kshikshastakam, who says, I just want to be a little particle of dust at your lotus feet. This is the mood that we don't have enough mercy to access directly to Krishna. Therefore, better to access through the devotees and in a humble position. Like this, at their contact, I may be here the glories, I may develop prema, and I may please Krishna in that way. Second reason that why Brahma desires to uh, know the glories of the, uh, of the Lord by being in Vrindavan, he says, simply because In San, it's Sanatan Goswami who is posing this argument, these arguments, he says, not only Brahma was realistic, but he was also uh, conscious that his position, even though supreme in this material world, was not nothing in comparison of the devotion of the inhabitants of Vrindavan. Even though he has all the cities, he was not able to develop that love himself. Therefore, he has to come near someone who has that love. This is the process when we are doing our sadhana, when we try to chant the glories of the Holy Name with a pure heart. Because we are not able to do by ourselves, we pray to the associate of the Lord. They, ac they, they accept us at their shelter. 
in that way we may be able to begin to perform service. And there is a third reason, which, uh, in fact, I don't remember, but I'm sorry, but I think you have a, a great perspective. It's already 45, so it's a good time to stop. And if you have any question, I'm sorry, I just, I, I was not prepared for this verse, so I just say whatever I was thinking good. And not only that, but I think this topic can extend more and more. And today is Gita Jayanti, so we will sing the glories of the Lord. Uh, at least Krishna will sing himself his glories through Bhagavad Gita by the mouth of the devotees. So that's really nice. And that will be the continuation of this. So please uh, accept my other obeisances and forgive my offenses if I did hurt you by any explanation. And if you have a question, you can go on. Yeah, I heard about this. <laughs> uh, we have the key for everything yes. and uh, we, uh, we come by the back door but the, the owner of the key is Shri Prabhupada and uh, his disciples also and uh, the mercy of Lord Chaitanya is there so it's in we are in between two infinites the infinitum of our force the infinite amount of the mercy of the Lord. So, we have hope. <laughs> that was a nice commentary. Thank you. Um, is there any question about uh, this verse or how Shukrasharya is, uh, is there, his position? Is there any question? Okay. So, I think it's time. Prasadam. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. And... Uh, Shri Prabhupada ki, Shri Mad Bhagavatam ki, Gita Jayanti ki, Ikadeshi ki, Taigod Premanande, Aribod.